Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Norma with All Things Handmade. In this channel, you're gonna be learning uh, how to create, how to price, how much to invest, how to buy it at wholesale, and how to sell it. Let me get ready and let's get to work. In this video, I'm gonna show you how do I sublimate a sequin uh, pillow. So for this video, you're gonna be needing a heat, uh, heat tape you're gonna be needing a pillow. If you don't have a pillow like this, and remember, I'm gonna put all the description, all the links of the products that I use, but if you don't have a pillow like this, you need to make sure that when you print, this part of the zipper is out a little bit outside the um, the heat press, okay? So, it, because it's a little bulky. Uh, you're also gonna need some scissors. You're gonna need uh, this tool that you use to weed and you're gonna need two pieces of butcher paper and I'm gonna tell you what they are for when the time comes and your image. I already cut one of my images. This is this is gonna be in the middle and each corner is gonna get one of this. I haven't cut this one because I wanted to show you like, you need to cut a little bit because if you can notice, I print them and there's some black in the corners. So what I, I like to do so that I know there's no um, no ink other than the ink for the for the design, I cut them close to where they need to be. And also it helps me to see what kind of a space do I have to place them on my print. So there it is. Now, for the, the pillow, you're gonna go ahead and bring it to the white. But what is really, really important, this, this thing is easy, okay, what I'm doing. But what is really, really important is that you need to make sure that all of them, there's none of, not one, not even one, uh, turn to the, to the other side, to the silver side. And sometimes um, some of the sequins pile on top of each other um, um, properly, like for example, I'm doing it and you see this one right here? See that right there? So this is what you use your uh, pick for. You need to turn it around and place it where it needs to be. Okay, just like that. So go ahead and do that to all your pillow, including all these ones on the corner, because once you print it, uh, the, the heat press, it may leave them like that, okay? Uh, so you want to make sure that everything is turned the right way. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I already, I, I had some stubborn ones, but I was able to turn them all. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert one of the butcher papers inside. We don't want to waste, we don't want to lose money, right? Okay, so there it is. And I decided I'm not going to use the pillow because I don't have one that it's uh, that it's big enough for this. This is uh, how much it covers. So because I'm gonna be doing the flowers all the way outside, I um, uh, it's not gonna cover everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, here's the seam right this side. I'm gonna put it a little bit outside the, the, print, the heat press. So we're just gonna go ahead and put more or less this in the middle. You can measure it if you want. I usually like, I've been doing so many that I'm, I can I, you know, I'm not saying I'm pretty good, but I think I got it where I need it to be. Uh, this needs to be taped down so that it doesn't move. Okay, then we I have my four flowers. So they're all gonna be going this way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in there. Just like so. Okay, and I'm gonna put like two more tapes on that. Okay, so I have them all ready. I think I'm gonna put another piece of tape here, right down here. So now I'm going to move this to the corner so that it's sticking out just a little tiny bit. Okay, 
and I had some st a stubborn sequins on this side, so I'm gonna make sure that all of that stays on, on the uh, outside. So now we're gonna go ahead and cover. This is super easy. We're just gonna go ahead and cover it, bring it into the, to the printer, and your heat press needs to be at 401 for 60 seconds. Okay, here it is. It's hot, it's hot. Here we go. So we pulled our butcher paper. When your paper doesn't, uh, no images go through, I usually say this and I use for my uh, tumblers and, cof and coffee mugs. Okay, so that's probably what I'm gonna do with that one. So here, here it is. Um, let's go ahead and take it off. It's uh, it's really hot. Be careful, okay? So. Wow, this is pretty. This is pretty. So let me show you. There it is. There's your pillow. So let me just show you. See that? And then you go down, and there it is. So there it is. I hope you like it. I uh, but for now, I'm very happy with the results. May the Lord bless you today and every day. And until next time, thank you.